10 seconds left. Here's Abbott trying to get loose in front. Nims has it. He scores. He scores. Kenny Nims scores with four seconds left. Get Most people who know the name Matt Abbott know him from his days with Syracuse lacrosse or with the Chesapeake Bayhawks of Major League Lacrosse. But what they may not know is Matt spends most of his days here in downtown Syracuse as a financial advisor, balancing two careers. I'm Rick Epos, Matt speaking. It definitely fills the schedule up, um, but you know, thankfully stuff is flexible enough to where I can schedule meetings with clients around you know, the busy season for lacrosse and also you know, when stuff gets busy here, then you know, this takes precedence. So it's, uh, Thankfully, both places are flexible enough to make it work, and uh, hopefully it can do so for, for years to come. Matt says some new clients are surprised to hear he's a professional athlete, and being a professional athlete does have some perks in the finance world. It certainly has been a way to possibly network to, to meet new clients. Um, and some folks that do have an interest in the sport find it, uh, find it interesting. It's a good conversation piece. A conversation about a sport that's been in Matt's family for generations. I don't know when exactly I you know, fully realized you know, that you know, I would have been the third generation to play there um, for my family after my grandfather and father. But um, having that connection definitely is, is neat. And I think that's something that I'm sure a lot of other programs have too. But uh, that's definitely ingrained in the Syracuse lacrosse tradition. Tradition that hangs on the walls and fills the bookshelves at the Abbott's home. And that's Matt from birth, I said, this is the kid that's going to go to Syracuse. And all the sports that we played and participated with, it was how we taught their life skills. Lacrosse people are family, and they're family forever. After watching Syracuse from the bleachers for so many years, finally being a part of the Syracuse lacrosse family fulfilled his childhood dream. Putting on that jersey for the first time was uh, was surreal. It was, you know, the, I hate to be corny, but it was a dream come true. You know, that's it really was, because that's what I wanted to do. Uh, Growing up, I wanted to, to be a part of that program. He really went under the radar as being recruited. And all of a sudden, when he was about a senior in high school, he started to see the little growth. And uh, the speed finally came. And uh, uh, when he got to college, it, it, as soon as he got to college, we could see it right away that he was going to be a great player. Matt was a first-round pick of the Chesapeake Bayhawks in 2009. But being a professional lacrosse player isn't your normal 9-to-5. Professional lacrosse player is weekend warriors because guys got regular jobs outside of lacrosse world because we're not making the, the big salaries like your NFL or football or, or football or your basketball players. Uh, but, you know, we, we do it because we love the sport. You know, we do it because we love the sport. And, uh, I mean, yeah, we make a little bit of money, but it's, it's more about uh, playing a sport that we love. High school, great. Playing at Syracuse, great. Yep. Playing professionally, great. Yep. But there was one other kind of level of lacrosse yep. that you finally got to reach this past summer. Yep. What was that? Yeah, uh, you know, making Team USA and being able to play in the World Games um, out in Denver this past summer was, and that's something, like I say, I, I didn't dream about being a pro lacrosse player. I didn't dream about, certainly didn't dream about being a, a playing for Team USA. I mean, that was so far above and beyond where I thought I could even ever um, achieve as a, as a player. But um, you know, that was the, the biggest honor I've ever had in, in the realm of lacrosse is putting on, you know, a Team USA jersey and representing your country. Um, Matt's first game of the MLL season is just days away. So how many more seasons will he be on the field? I keep saying that I'm going to try and do it for as long as my body will let me. And, uh, you know, if that's, if that's one more season, great. If it's eight more seasons, great. You know, but uh, I certainly enjoy it and hope to do it for, for many years to come. In Syracuse, Jonathan Kahn, NCC News.